Good morning. At this time, I ask that everyone please rise. Gentlemen, remove your caps for the singing of our national anthem by the Belvedere High School Choraleers. Good morning. My name is Billy Lewis, Principal Belvedere High School, and it is my honor to welcome you all to the graduation ceremony for the Belvedere High School class of 2023. It is a privilege to be celebrating this momentous occasion with you all today. Bienvenidos a todos. Igual que ustedes, yo estoy muy orgulloso de sus hijos y hijas y lo que han hecho como alumnos de Belvedere High School. Es un placer reconocerlos hoy en nuestra ceremonia de graduación. It is my pleasure to welcome our Board of Education members who volunteer their time and talents on behalf of our community. Please give a wave as your name is called. President Sarah Brenner. Vice President Holly Hauk. Secretary Jorge Herrera. And members Tom Booker and Carla Mayville. And a thank you to Lisa Whitcomb and Matt Zickert who are unable to be here today. Please also join me in welcoming Dr. Cassandra Shug here for her very first graduation ceremony as District 100 Superintendent. We have a strong and proud tradition at Belvedere High School, established and strengthened by graduates of past years. Let us now take a moment during today's graduation ceremony to honor our Belvedere High School alumni in attendance. Please stand and be recognized.
And to all of our moms in attendance and watching from afar, we hope you had a wonderful Mother's Day last Sunday. Please stand to let us applaud and celebrate you at this time. And lastly, to all BHS staff in attendance today, thank you for your time, dedication, and love you have provided to the BHS class of 2023. Please stand at this time and be recognized. <laughs> and to our students, there were many different paths you've taken to be here today. Please stand as we recognize the schools within and outside of our district that have been part of your educational journeys. Students who attended Kishwaukee Elementary School, please stand and be recognized. <laughs> Students who attended Lincoln Elementary School, please stand and be recognized. Students who attended Meehan Elementary School, please stand and be recognized. <laughs> Students who attended Perry Elementary School, please stand and be recognized. <laughs> Students who attended Seth Whitman Elementary School, please stand and be recognized. <laughs> and students who attended Washington Academy, please stand and be recognized. Students who attended Belvedere Central Middle School, please stand and be recognized. <laughs> Students who attended Belvedere South Middle School, please stand and be recognized. <laughs> Students who attended Belvedere North High School, please stand and be recognized. Students who attended Everest High School, please stand and be recognized. And students who attended our Running Start program here at Rock Valley College, please stand and be recognized. Students, if your journey included a school outside of our district, please stand at this time and be recognized. Perfect attendance is not something we can recognize at every graduation, but I am honored to recognize two students for perfect attendance here today. Daisy Felix, with two years of perfect attendance at BHS before joining Running Start, please stand. And Paul Jeske, with four years of perfect attendance at Belvedere High School. Our students are also destined to go in many different directions after graduation. One special group to acknowledge is those students enlisted to enter a branch of the United States Armed Forces. Please stand as your name is called and thank you for your service to our nation. Erika Flores with the United States Army. <laughs> Hannah Gardner with the Army National Guard. Gustavo Ortega with the United States Marine Corps. And let us applaud Cindy Hernandez, who cannot be with us today because she is completing her advanced individual training with the United States Army. Many aspects of a commencement ceremony come at no surprise. The cap and gowns, pomp and circumstance, the flowers, the walk across the stage, and of course the graduation diplomas. We all know, however, that when we dig deeper, the stories within a graduating class and its individual members reflect the uniqueness of their times and circumstances. From the tornado of 1967, after crowning a Miss America, two state football championships, and the opening of a new high school across town. Each class has defining moments within their time as Belvedere High School students. 
The class of 2023 made it to March of their freshman year before they were told they could not attend school in person for a few weeks, which then quickly turned into the rest of the school year. In their eventual return as sophomores and juniors, they had a more disconnected, restrictive, and confusing experience than we can maybe even realize today. In the face of these challenging circumstances, our soon-to-be graduates returned as seniors to make it a year to remember. They held a senior sunrise event the very first day of school at Funderburg Stadium and a senior sunset just this week. Three members earned ILMEA All-State honors, and our senior-led boys basketball team defeated Rockford Auburn High School for the first time in 10 years. The academic achievements of this class includes 95 students graduating with honors today, which I'm excited to say is the most in Belvedere High School history. This BHS class of 2023 collectively has their unique story to tell among the many chapters of Belvedere High School's rich history. It is one they should be proud of. What is equally as important and exciting to acknowledge is that each individual graduate has their own beautiful version of greatness that they have been cultivating and preparing to share with the world. We have the honor of hearing from a few of them this morning as they speak to and on behalf of their fellow classmates. It is now my pleasure to welcome to the stage Ms. Erika Flores, POM and Dance Captain for our opening address. After graduation, Erika begins her basic training with the United States Army and then plans on attending Northern Illinois University to study elementary education. Buen día, y bienvenidos to our respected administration, faculty, parents, family, and graduating class of 2023. My name is Erica Flores, and I am honored to be delivering the welcome remarks to you all today. I wouldn't be here without the help of my teachers, admin, peers, and most importantly, my dear parents who immigrated to the U.S. so I could have a shot at a better future. My parents didn't come to the U.S. to live the American dream. They came so I could live it. Ama, apa, ustedes llegaron sin nada y me lo dieron todo. Gracias por todo lo que han hecho y por ser mi inspiración. Los amo mucho. <laughs> to my fellow graduates, as cliche as it may sound, these past four years have been an unforgettable journey. We finally reached the final step we've been waiting for since elementary school. But it's not actually a final step. I like to think of it as us leaving our class's legacy behind and taking a beginning step in order to start a new journey. We all had our struggles to get here, and that is okay. And all of our struggles varied. You may have struggled with getting up every day in the morning, with your mental health, or coming to a new country without knowing the language. Whatever the case may be, we all struggle to get here today, but that is a good thing. Donde no hay lucha, no hay fuerza. Muchos de nosotros compartimos la misma historia. If there is no struggle, there is absolutely no progress. Remember to always find ways and not excuses. Many of us are scared to graduate. Tenemos miedo de que nos depara el futuro. I have some good news for all of you. You cannot control the future. Now I have some terrifying news. Your present actions do control the future. We all have different views on what we want our own individual future to look like. It could be going to college, trade school, military, work, or just staying in your parents' basement for now. Whatever it is, that is okay. There is no script to life. You are the writer of your own destiny. Be what you want to be and not what others want to see. Someone else's opinions are not your problem. You're the only one who can decide what the best version of yourself is. That is what finding your greatness is truly about. I hope you all take pride in how far you've come along. Siéntense orgulloso de lo lejos que han llegado. 
I also want you all to remember to always keep pushing yourself because no one else will do it for you. Congratulations, class of 2023. Thank you. Please now direct your attention to the BHS Choir Students, led by Belvedere High School Vocal Music Director, Mr. Mark Miller. They will be performing River in Judea by Marcus and Feldman, arranged by John Levitt, and Measure Me Sky by Elaine Hagenberg.
Thank you to the Belvedere Choir. It is now my pleasure to welcome to the stage Ms. Sophie Lease, Senior Class President and Illinois State Scholar, and Ms. Marilyn Ochoa, Senior Class Vice President and BHS Drum Major, to deliver the Senior Class Address. After graduation, Sophie plans to attend the University of Minnesota Twin Cities to study computer science, and Marilyn plans to attend Illinois State University to study music education. Thank you, Mr. Lewis, and thank you to the loved ones, faculty members, and fellow graduates who join us here today. My name is Sophie Lees. And my name is Marilyn Ochoa. We are honored to stand before you today. Throughout our last four years at Belvedere High School, we have been on a ride of constant change and inconsistencies. At first, we saw vibrant colors in the hallways and the occasional fire alarm. At first, we could feel the excitement flowing through classrooms. But suddenly, all that transformed into silent Google Meets and teachers looking at a screen of Skittles as they came to call it. How we viewed the world then is not the same as how we view it now. Estos últimos cuatro años han sido inconsistentes. Sin embargo, a través de luchas, prueba y error, y muchas batallas, estamos sentados aquí hoy en este día. Despite our struggles, we are able to stand here and recognize our successes. Our class is filled with passionate, dedicated, and sincere students who are dedicated to their craft. Some were able to adjust swiftly. For others, it took a bit more time. We have spent our last two years growing from the battle that we endured, trying to define a new definition of normal. ¿Por qué luchamos tanto para llegar a este punto? Parece como una pregunta extraña al principio, pero ¿por qué puedes decir hoy que te graduaste? Creo que todos tenemos una razón, un por qué ponle, but why? The question may seem nonsensical at first, but why did we make the effort of crunch, why did we make the effort to make something out of the last two normal years? Why did you go through the effort of crunching in those assignments on Friday nights before 11.59 p.m.? Why did you push yourself to go to class that one day after having a terrible night? Why are you able to sit here today and say you made it to your high school graduation. I believe we all have a reason, a why, put it. I speak from the experience of many of you and myself when I say that that sudden change sophomore year led us to failing classes, failing our teachers, and most importantly, ourselves. We lost ourselves in a whirlwind of change, yet we all had the drive to prove to ourselves that those struggles could not and would not define us. We all had a reason. Hablo de las experiencias de ustedes y personalmente cuando digo que este cambio repentino en el segundo año de nuestras vidas en la secundaria nos llevó a fallar a las clases, fallar a nuestros maestros y lo que es más importante, a nosotros mismos. Sin embargo, todos teníamos el impulso de demostrarnos a nosotros mismos que, este, que esos obstáculos no podían ni nos definirían. Todos teníamos una razón. Maybe your reason is a dream you've had since you were a kid, swinging on a playground, hitting the wood chips as you flew higher and higher to that dream. Or maybe your reason came later on, when you lost someone close to you. Tal vez tu razón vino cuando te enteraste de, de que tus papás vinieron a este país para ti. O a lo mejor tu razón vino cuando perdiste a alguien cerca a ti. Or maybe you still have yet to find your reason. And you know when you venture out beyond the hallways of VHS, you'll find it. No matter what state your reason is in, whether that be a dream, assets, or a person, or you don't know it yet, it helped you make it to today, participating in this ceremony in a somewhat hot gown, listening to these words. When I reflect on who we were as freshmen and who we are in this room today, we have grown, we have changed, but we have not let our struggles define us. Today, we reach a new milestone together. For four years, we have walked the same halls, attended the same assemblies, and cheered for the same team under the lights of Funderburg Stadium. Our paths have been similar. But now, like the branches of a tree, our paths, we grow in different directions. However, our roots will always be intertwined in Belvedere, in those classrooms, in those halls, and in the mark that we have left as a class. 
Looking back at our time shared at BHS, I see a lively, driven, and accomplished group of individuals, from all conference athletes to AP and Illinois State scholars and all state musicians. Our class has been unstoppable. With these achievements in mind, our time at BHS should not be summed up as one big experience, but rather a collection of moments. That time you stayed up all night finishing that project, that fight you had with your best friend, the sunrises watched and the meals shared. Every up and down of this journey we shared was a moment. And while you may not remember all of these moments forever, you will always remember the way they made you feel. The way you laughed, the way you cried, the feeling of being on top of the world with your closest friends. These moments make up not only your high school experience, but also our lives. As you grow, don't limit yourself to who you were in high school. BHS has provided us with a strong foundation and many opportunities, but the world is big and full of so many things that we aren't even aware of yet. No matter what path is ahead of you or if you are still figuring out what your path is, be fearless. There is so much we have yet to learn. To find our true greatness, we must take risks. We have to develop our passion somehow. In this life, we get out of it what we put into it, so live big. I think Miss Frizzle said it best. Take chances, make mistakes, and get messy. Thank you. It is now my pleasure to introduce Dr. Cassandra Shug, Superintendent of Belvedere District 100. Good morning, graduates and families. It is my great honor and privilege to be here with all of you today. And I have undeniably the very best job today. To the District 100 community, and to the Board of Education, as the Superintendent of Schools of the Belvedere Community Unit School District Number 100, I certify that the Belvedere High School graduating class, these students sitting here before you, of 2023, have met all graduation requirements deemed appropriate by the Board of Education and by the State of Illinois. And therefore, they have earned their high school diplomas. Congratulations, graduates, on your past and on your future successes. We will now distribute the diplomas. Anthony Acevedo. <laughs> Sophia Rose Adams. <laughs> Ivy Ann Adamski. <laughs> Jennifer Agueton Hernandez. <laughs> Monique Hortensia Aguilar. Magna Cum Laude. Joseph Aguirre. Alexander Michael Albano, cum laude. Hareli Noemi Albaran. Yasir Aldihamawi. Alexander Alfaro, summa cum laude. Alicia Alvarado, magna cum laude. Wyatt Anderson, cum laude. Diego Andrade. Casey Andreessen. Olivia Angeles. 
Daniel Ankerbrandt. Daisy Arteaga, summa cum laude. Leslie Maribel Asensio Aguila, cum laude. Alex August. Steph Marie Baez. Carly Nicole Baird, summa cum laude. Ava K. Bankard, summa cum laude. Thomas Jonathan Barnes. Dylan Cole Odell Bear. Ryan Andrew Baudet, magna cum laude. Jake Bell. Abigail Ray Bennett, magna cum laude. <laughs> Tiffany Angela Berlin. <laughs> Matthew William Bora, cum laude. <laughs> Emiliano Brito. <laughs> Phoenix Brosman. Bailey Grace Burkholder, magna cum laude. Shaley Liv Bushaw, magna cum laude. Marie Monique Caldera. Anaí Camargo. Jennifer Camargo, cum laude. Antonio Ventura Carrillo. Dominic Carrillo. Jonathan Carter. Alexander Chavez, cum laude. Carly Ariella Calazzo, magna cum laude. Gracelyn Leanne Converse. Emma Lynn Cordray, summa cum laude. Evelyn Lisbeth Correa. Nikki Emily Cortez. Noah Cresson, magna cum laude. Guadalupe Cuellar. Shaley Jean Dahl. Emma Alicia De Leon Hernandez. Leslie Dionisio, cum laude. Marlene Duarte. Declan Dwyer. Jonathan Eisenbraun. Ruth Emiliano. Giovanni Espinosa, magna cum laude. Jennifer Espinosa, magna cum laude. Daisy Felix, magna cum laude. Jacob Feltz Ramirez. Peyton Flood. Erika Giselle Flores, summa cum laude. Sarai Flores. Jasper Floyd. Nicholas Christopher Fusco, magna cum laude. Sutton Elizabeth Gaines, summa cum laude. Adolfo Angel Gallegos. Kaylin Galvin. 
Alexis Ramiro Galvez. Lisbeth Garcia Antunes, magna cum laude. Isela Garcia Hernandez. Adriel Garcia. Joanna Ruby Garcia. Hannah Elizabeth Gardner. Thomas George. Carla Gerardo. Danielle Gomez. Ivan Gomez. Jocelyn Gomez, cum laude. Cesar Andres Gonzalez. Mercedes Lynn Gazlowski, cum laude. Attilio Terrell Gostin. Iker Alonso Govea Lopez. Daniel Granger, magna cum laude. Janessa Chanel Gray. Madeline Leanne Grimm, cum laude. Carter James Guerra. David Guerrero, Jr. Daniel Guzman. Joanna Guzman. Shelby Hansen, summa cum laude. John Terrio Harkins. Mackenzie Lynn Hendrickson. Jorge Hernandez. Ashley Marie Hernandez. Eric Hernandez. Salvador Hernandez. Sam Harajan. Matthew Allen Hitz, magna cum laude. Taylor Hawk, cum laude. Autumn Cadence Hogan. Emily Lucille Holmes, cum laude. Devin Reese Duran Horn. Skyler Andrew Howell, cum laude. Caitlin Marie Halstead, magna cum laude. Noah James Humphrey, cum laude. Guadalupe Inostrosa. Justin Irwin, summa cum laude. Owen Kale Jenke. Kyle Ray Jensen. Ryan Matthew Jensen. Paul William Jeske. Takea Noel Jones, magna cum laude. Travis Jeffrey Juris. Kaylin Jolie Camholtz, summa cum laude. Riley Harmony Carrick, cum laude. Emma Lynn Kirchner, cum laude. Mia Vanessa Koshaba, cum laude. 
Morgan Michelle Click, summa cum laude. Riley Konecki, cum laude. Jacob Theodore Koziel, magna cum laude. Gabriela Lares Medina. Raymond Larson, magna cum laude. Gracie Levensorger. Sophie Lees, summa cum laude. Tyler James Lensing. Isabella Fe Leon, summa cum laude. Rayleigh Rose Leiter. Nina Alexis Linson. Lori Lopez, summa cum laude. Yair Lopez, magna cum laude. Alexis Marie Lukak. Kyle Douglas Lund, summa cum laude. Kenzie Nicole Luz, magna cum laude. Patrick Maka, magna cum laude. Isaiah Jordan Manos. Javier Marquez. Cody James Martin, magna cum laude. Adrian Isaac Martinez. Hernan Martinez. Macy Paige McCoy, magna cum laude. Dane Scott McLeland, summa cum laude. Megan Marie McVeigh. Nelly Guadalupe Medina Lopez, cum laude. Yareth Medina. At this time, we have a medical emergency. Can everyone please take their seats? Thank you. Giovanni Rodolfo Mesa. Xavier Michel. Garrett Martin Mickey, cum laude. Colton Miley. Jonathan Gabriel Millan. Marvin Mogul. Yair Molina. Jasmine Marie Montalbano, cum laude. Jordan Shai Monto. Savannah Lee Moore. Isabella Marie Mora, cum laude. Mikhailer K. Morris, magna cum laude. Jesse James Moyer. Mason Ray Mulcahy. Jonah Ellis Mundy. Avril Munoz. 
Angel Nava. Daniel Nava. Stephanie Nevarez. Luis Angel Ochoa. Marilyn Ochoa. Carla Olmos. Landon Blackhawk Olson. Kelly Luis Only, cum laude. Damian Orozco, cum laude. Gustavo Ortega. Yair Ortiz, cum laude. Grant Ryan Osterberg, cum laude. Nayeli Paz. Zachary Phillips, summa cum laude. Stanley Piotrowski. Ashley Ponce Segura. Gracie Catherine Porter, cum laude. Joel Praknicki. Zoe Morgan Proper, summa cum laude. Sofia Pulido Escalante. Chilino Ricky Ramirez Dale, cum laude. Diana Navarro Ramirez. Lydia Ramirez, cum laude. Stephanie Ramos, magna cum laude. Carlos Renteria. Fernando Rivera. Jonathan Rivera, magna cum laude. Jack Dimitri Roberts, cum laude. Chloe Grace Robinson, cum laude. Omar Rodriguez Flores. Alexis Rodriguez, magna cum laude. Angel Fernando Rojas Cerda. Alicia Rosales. Giovanni Rosas. Madeline May Rudecki. Naida Nayeli Ruiz. Jessica Marie Sines. Ashley Sanchez. Christian Sanchez. Jacqueline Santana Aguilar, magna cum laude. Ethan Jean Savage, cum laude. Peyton Mary Schultz Melms. Ella Eva Sameka, summa cum laude. Ingrid Segura. Alex Bradford Salace, magna cum laude. Zoe Aurora Marie Steggy. Clarita Lisette Sumano, magna cum laude. Jalen Evan Tabalangan. Eric Talavera Cabral. Liberty Julia Thornton. 
Riley Wade Thornton. Maria Guadalupe Trejo, summa cum laude. Jose Armando Trujillo. Tyler James Truman. Elena Dawn Turnipseed. Jaden Tyson. Caden Allsaver. Zachary Guy Allsaver. Fernando Mauricio Urbieta. Evelyn Valdez, cum laude. Emma Rose Van Acker, magna cum laude. Alyssa Ann Van Kieran. Lorenzo Vela. Adrian Vialba. Henry Jose Villarreal. Miles Nathaniel Walker. Madeline Rose Wallace, summa cum laude. James Bradley Watson, Jr., cum laude. Kira Cheyenne Watson, cum laude. Sapphire Elizabeth Watts, cum laude. Michaela Joy Weber, summa cum laude. Brian L. West. Amber Nicole Wisely, summa cum laude. Dijonay Guadalupe Esperanza Zavala. Carolina Zdanovic. Belvedere High School, families and community, your BHS graduating class of 2023. It is now my pleasure to welcome to the stage Ms. Emma Cordray, 2021 Mantle Award winner, Illinois State Scholar, and Student Council Executive Board Vice President for our closing remarks. After graduation, Emma plans to attend the University of Wisconsin at Whitewater to study theater. Good morning, friends faculty, families, and fellow graduates of the class of 2023. First and foremost, on behalf of the class of 2023, I would like to quickly thank the teachers, coaches, family, friends, faculty, who have helped us make it to this spot right now with our diplomas in hand. All of your dedication to our success is appreciated. We couldn't have done this without you. The weird thing about these farewells and graduation is that it is both the happiest moment of your life and also the saddest. You've climbed the mountain that is high school and reached a peak in your life. But now comes the hard part, the farewells and the transition into adulthood. Some of us have known each other since kindergarten, all the way back in 2010. 
And some of us have just come to Belvedere this year. However, this doesn't change the fact that we have made connections that will last a lifetime. I want to challenge everyone in saying, no matter what your plans are after today, don't let this be goodbye. Of course, this is our last time all together as a class, but over the years to come, I hope to see all of you reconnect with former teachers, reunite at class reunions, and reunite with each other by continuing to attend events here at BHS. However, it is also time to write our own story, time to learn what it means to strive for greatness inside ourselves, whether this means going to college or staying here and continuing to support our community, it's up to you where your future takes you. But do take those breaks. Get out of town. Go as many places as you can. This is the best time of your life to go explore. Go beyond the Mississippi and Missouri rivers. Stretch your comfort zone. But still, no matter how far you go, always remember that you have a place to call home. Belvedere. As we leave this place, I would like to encourage you to appreciate who you are today and what you have accomplished during your time at BHS. Maybe you weren't a star athlete or a president of a club, but you are who you are, and you are wonderful right now. You're allowed to feel proud of yourself. You are enough. What I strongly believe our culture has to unlearn is that it's not a race to the top not a race to be the best or have the most. That's not what is important in life. You are important. What you think is important. What you feel, what you desire, and what you want to do is important. Even if it's not what people expect from you. Don't race to the top of your mountain. Enjoy the journey. There's a lot to see and take in along the way. You choose your own path. Make it a good one. Unance conmigo mientras llenamos nuestras bolas de derecha a izquierda. And now, Belvedere High School, class of 2023. Join me as we turn our tassels from right to left. Congratulations, class of 2023. Remember to live life to its fullest. Faculty, please take your positions for dismissal. Graduates of the class of 2023, please rise. You've earned the right to walk out of here with your heads held high. As you go forth, believe in yourself and your future and pursue greatness every day. Congratulations.